So if you want to unlock further functionality with your G604 from Logitech using the G shift, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So obviously you're going to need a G604 mouse. That's one of the fundamental things. You're going to need the Logitech G hub, which is what you use to control the software, which is here. And you'll see it's detected the G604 light speed. Within here, you get like your options to be able to change your buttons. So you can do this quite easily. If you're not sure how to do that, you can go to like keys, for instance, and we can put a H on this front DPI. And you can go into like some like notepad and just give it a quick test. And you can see now it's a H. Now, what it doesn't show you though, is if you want to add further functionality, and this is the G shift option down here, how do you assign that and how do you use it? And what's the purpose of it? So the purpose of G shift, if we go into like view two here, it works on all your buttons, but what G shift does is you have to hold a button down that's assigned to G shift and then G shift will change where it says one, two, three, four, five, six. If you hold G shift down, it changes these buttons and it could be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. You have to hold it all the time though. It doesn't toggle. So you need to find G shift and that is under system. If I remember rightly, type in G and you can see G shift device here. Drag that across the button you want to assign it to. I like it assigned to the bottom right button here, basically. And what happens is now when you see me press G shift, you see it changes in the bottom here to G shift and these gray out. So what we need to do now is assign different buttons to that. So if we go back to your key and you can do any button here, I'm just gonna use numbers because it's easier to see. I'm gonna hold G shift down and gonna drag seven across and change it there. Eight across and you see it goes red as well here. So it's actually a G shift button. That's basically when G shift is enabled, you can see I'm holding it at all times. And then we'll do A and B here, for instance. B. When I let go, you'll see that goes back to one, two, three, four, five, and it changes. You see it changing. Also, on the top view, you can do this. So now we can assign instead of H, we'll have D instead. You see it works in the top ones as well. So let me show you how that works in general. If you pull up something like Notepad, you'll see if you touch these buttons, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold down Shift, and it's going to be awkward for me. One, oops. Seven, eight, nine, and then A, B. And on here, we've got H, hold down shift, G shift, and you've got D. And that's it. That's how you enable further buttons using the G shift functionality. So if you like this video, check out the other one for the G600 or any of my other videos as well if you're interested in mice. I'll see you soon. Catch you later. Bye bye.